feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. When it's take a swim, on my option is to win. Welcome to the post show wrap up of the shrimp tank. We're here with our guest, Ryan Fournier, and of course, Dan Whedon. Ryan is uh, the president of Fournier Insurance Solutions. We just had a fantastic interview with him, and we're going to get to a couple of our questions in a moment. To listen to the entire podcast, visit our website, www.seattleshrimptankpodcast.com, and be sure to subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. We also want to make sure that you're rating us. We'd love to get your feedback. So, so Dan, thanks so much for inviting Ryan on, and Ryan, thank you for spending some time with us. One of the things that we learned about Ryan, which I think is incredibly unique and important to understand, is that Ryan is a business owner of a multi-generational business. So Ryan, I'd like to ask you a little bit about uh, some of the the challenges and the opportunities of running a multi-generational business. There's there's a lot of both. Uh, I guess when you're the coach's kid, is how I put it, um, there's a lot of pressure and and also a lot of expectations to perform. Um, and that's really how I look at it, that it's an opportunity to perform and prove myself on a daily basis. Well, you know, Ryan, it's interesting that you called yourself the coach's kid because you're somebody else's coach right now in a sense. And you played college football for four years at Central Washington University. And I'm wondering, what did you take away from that experience that helps you coach you and, and develop your current team? Uh, the main thing I learned was that if they weren't coaching you, you were in trouble. And so the coaches coach because they care and they want you to be better. And so that's really how I look at it, that if we want our employees to perform to their best ability, that we have to coach them constantly. Well, one of the uh, other intriguing elements of our, our interview, Ryan, was the culture that you've created. And that culture, I think that a lot of entrepreneurs are really looking for. And, and that is, you know, how do I bring balance uh, to my life? But the thought that was really intriguing to me was not only how you do that for your own personal life, but the importance of doing that for your employees as well. Could you comment on that a bit? Yeah, we're, we're all in it together. And, and you get out of relationships what you give. And so we're constantly trying to understand what's most important in our employees' lives so that we can support them in times of need. And then also um, we have high expectations uh, as, as a company together to perform um, for our clients. So, Ryan, we want, really want to thank you. You've got one more? Yeah, okay, no, all right. And it's, and it's actually just to call out to all of you watching this. These are only three of the questions of a 45-minute podcast. If you want to hear more great information that Ryan has and more of the wisdom, especially around family business and the dynamics around being an entrepreneur, please make sure and listen to the whole podcast. Excellent. So thanks a lot, Dan. Ryan, I want to make sure that if individuals want to learn a little bit more about you, you and your business, they have an opportunity to get in touch with you. How would they do that? Both uh, via telephone. Our phone number locally is 253-473-3010 and on our website, fournearsolutions.com. Well, thanks, everybody, for uh, tuning in to our post-show wrap-up. But we also want to make sure, as Dan pointed out, that you go back and listen to the entire uh, podcast. To listen to the podcast, visit our website, www.seattleshrimptankpodcast.com. And be sure to subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, as well as make sure you're giving us feedback by giving us uh, a rating. So until next time, we'll sign off. Uh, Brad Berger, along with Dan Whedon, and today's uh, guest host, and uh, interviewee, Ryan. So until then, we'll see you next time. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank.